Is that right? Are you talking to everyone? We are back at the train station because we've got an exciting day today. We're heading to Birmingham for the Rap Show pop-up, which is really exciting. Um, I'm hoping to meet some new people as well as catch up with some of our friends. Um, yesterday I had my hair cut um, and I really like it and I feel much more me, which is nice. Um, and on the way home from the doctors, my rucksack either fell off or someone took it off because just after I'd left to have my hair cut, um, a very nice man who owns one of the shops that we went past turned up at the door with the changing bag. Yes! Um, contents had been strewn all over the floor, so really grateful that he collected everything up and had a look, found my prescription which has our address on and came back with the changing bag. So, on the way back from the rap show pop-up, I'm gonna pick up a box of chocolates to say thank you and pop in. Good morning! Um, we left the house at quarter past six. We're now on the train and we are heading into London for a really exciting project. But I can't tell you anything about it yet. What I can tell you is that we already encountered access problems. Um, turned up at our local station to be told that you have to book your ticket as a wheelchair user and assistance on Virgin Trains, um, you absolutely have to. We might not be able to let you on if you, as you haven't. We could make an exception this time. Um, and I've just spoken to Virgin Trains on Twitter. That's not the case, and I knew it wouldn't be. Um, so yeah, it's just frustrating. You shouldn't have to come across these barriers. This project is so secret that I didn't know until last night where we were going or when we needed to be there. So I spent last night trying to work out travel and I wouldn't have been able to book anyway, but also it, it doesn't work like that when you have chronic illness and when you have a baby, babies explode and all sorts of things. You can't always leave the house when you want to. Um, and I wish my station understood this. I know some of them do. But now this is the second person who's taken issue with me not booking in advance, which is very frustrating. I only went and got on the right bus in the wrong direction. So we are having to double back, but the closest stop wasn't working, so all was closed, so we've had to go even further. We're going to make it, I hope we are going to be late. Um, I get to tell you now what is going on. So we are on our way to a photo shoot for Woven Wings, who are a luxury baby wearing wrap company, which is really exciting. Um, someone's been grumpy on the journey, but now she's asleep. This morning has, this morning has been um, spent at the allergy clinic. I wasn't expecting for it to be useful, but it actually really was. A lot has changed in the last 20 years in terms of allergies. And we are gonna head home now, and then go out for dinner with a friend. I've had an eventful morning. Um, my arm has swollen up. The allergy, phoned the allergy nurses, and they sent me to the GP. So I've just come back from the GP surgery my arm has fallen up because of the skin prick test and specifically the way I've reacted to grass which makes sense as to why I was having so many reactions for the past few summers because you can't just not eat grass because you don't eat grass do you <laughs> yeah 
we don't eat grass but it's in the air so that makes sense and it's a little frustrating and I'm exhausted.